Glory to God. I want to welcome you to week 25 of a study in 2 Corinthians. We're winding this study up, and and I don't know how many more weeks we'll, we'll get out of these last two chapters because, you know, Paul is, is, is you know, just coming to a place that, that he wants the Corinthians to realize and understand that, that you know, there's a lot to what, where he's at and what's going on in his life at this time. But I want to encourage you. This is something that, that I have encouraged people since I started this podcast, and that is to take God's Word for what it says, not, not how you feel about it, not what you've heard about it, but read it for what it says. And that's the reason we, we started this In Him Scripture study is because we want you to take God at, at what He has written down to you, for you, and about you. And you can go back to June the 21st, and, you know, we, we, we wound up this, uh, this In Him Scripture study, you know, a couple of years ago, and, and and no, not a couple of years ago, but a while back, uh, over a year ago, a year and a half ago. and But we started it again doing videos that goes into the prison. So on Sundays, you're getting a, 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 a in him scripture study that goes in. The audio on this podcast is the, uh, is the audio off of the videos that we send into the prisons. So... You can go back and listen to those. But I want to encourage you to go back to June the 21st of 2021 and, and listen from there forward all the way through all these, these in him scripture studies. Listen to the Sunday messages, you know, and, and, and go through this. We went through Romans, we we're, we went through First Corinthians, and, and now, you know, we're just we're just a, a week or two, maybe three, away from uh First Corinthians or Second Corinthians being in, being finished. And this is something that God wants you to realize and understand that that Paul's epistles which uh, a big part of that card, that in him scripture study, was Paul's epistles. Not all of it, but a bunch of it was. And and God wants you to realize that Paul had had done these 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 books, written these books, arguably thirteen different books in the New Testament. Almost half of the New Testament was written by by Paul through the through the, through the direction of the Holy Spirit. God spoke through Paul. To, to 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 lift us up and to strengthen us. Well, I'm gonna say this. He taught us to live as Christians should live. Now he didn't teach us to live by the law. He encouraged people to not be bound up by the yoke of bondage anymore. He did. I mean, if you'll go back, I mean just this last Sunday we we've talked about that, and 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 it's it's something else. It may be Sunday, this next coming Sunday, but I think it's this last Sunday, Sunday before this message. Talked about being not being bound up by the yoke of bondage again. Talking about the law, Jesus died to fulfill that law so that we could walk in His righteousness, and that's what these these this whole study is about is is lifting people up. And helping them to see and realize the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God has for them. Now, I want to do something right now that I do quite a bit. But I want to thank all the partners that help us put this podcast out. So into this ministry faithfully. To do, to, so that we can we can be able to do this, be able to travel to these jails, be able to put these jails up, have time to record these podcasts, and, and just you know, thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. If you're not a partner of this ministry, pray about becoming a partner today. I want to encourage you, don't go through these these podcasts and and skip through these prayers. These prayers are so important to building you up, 
to strengthen in you and to help you see and realize the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God has for you. Paul wanted the Ephesians to know that, and I, that's the reason I do these Ephesians prayers five days a week on this podcast, so that you can get hold of and be strengthened by God's Word and, and find out that, that God is for you. He wants you to know it. He wants you to realize it. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those he called his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that I hear and see and understand his word, his love, his His mercy, his grace, and his goodness more and more every day. And I always get it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I praise you and I thank you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Let me fix this mic. This may make a little noise, but this thing seems to turn, turn down a little bit. I don't know if that made any noise or not, but this is the final day of a study in Second Corinthians. We're, we're finishing these, these this study up next week, uh, looking forward to going into Galatians. But this on this day, I want to... I want to encourage you that this ministry and what God is trying to do through this ministry is to help you realize and understand that that God wants more than anything in the world for you to know just how much he's for you. And we've talked about a whole lot, a whole lot in the last two years uh, when it when it comes to who we are in Christ Jesus and what God wants for us. But we've also, you know, throughout that time, uh, tried to help people see and understand that it's, it's all about God's word. It's not about, it's not about a feel, a feeling. It's not about, uh, how many tears you shed. I, I lived a lot of years in my lifetime, uh, doing my dev level best to to do what I was supposed to do and failed miserably because of it, because I was I, I didn't uh know where I stood with Christ. I didn't know the word. I'd been I knew what the word said, but I hadn't 
I wasn't doctrinally sound in it. I, I hadn't been, I hadn't been uh, taught that you could take that word for what it said. You could believe it. God's word is true above all opinion. God's not a liar. He's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. But it's up to us to believe it. First of all, believe it and stand on it and, and, and hold it true for our life. And Paul went through the Corinthian, the first and second Corinthians, uh, dealing with a bunch of people that were just completely out and left field on a lot of things. But yet he still turned right around and told them how much God loved them and what Christ had made them to be, who Christ had made them to be through that, through uh, Jesus' sacrifice. And when I look at where I've been. When, uh, years ago, when I turned my life back over to the Lord and, 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 and got back to where I was supposed to be, the Lord started some events in my life that completely directed me uh, in a different direction. And there's a lot of people that I dearly love uh, don't want anything to do with uh, my ministry because they think that I have left their denomination. Mm -hmm. Look, we're all Christians. Uh, if you're born again, if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, we are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Uh, I may not go to your church. I may not uh, 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 go to the denominational church that, that you think I ought to, but I'm going to promise you something. I am born again. And that my, that is my heart's desire to pe see people born again, and and Paul was dealing with some things that that were just 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 plumb crazy to be dealing with having to deal with them in a church house, and I see that in in so many different. Uh, churches that I go to. I preach in all kinds of different denominational churches and 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 get out and you know, I was <laughs> back years and years ago I preached a, a a ministers conference for for a very well known denomination and I wasn't even part of the denomination. And that's what God will do for you if you'll just if you'll just uh be open to go and preach to people. I've always been that way. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't hold a a denomination any any higher than any of the rest of them. Look, we've all we've all uh, got our differences, and we're going to find out that God don't care what we know. He want, he want, he wants to he wants you to know that he has spoken his word he's written down his word and what he wants us to do is proclaim his word not proclaim our our uh, our opinion about his word but proclaim his word and and I think that I have successfully done that since we we've started this podcast I'm not out here teaching people uh to look down their nose at any other denomination. But I want you to understand something, that if if there's a denomination out there that's trying to pull people away from the truth of God's Word, they're in the wrong. And and Paul was, you know, he is dealing with stuff like this in this in this, this Corinthian church. He said, they, they said, there's a lot of false prophets out here. That are, that are trying to trying to to uh, pull you away for their own gain, for their own gain, and uh, there, there's a man sent me a scripture here a while back, and and I don't know exactly where it's at. It's in Proverbs, and I've looked it up nu numerous times, but uh, it, I'll, I'll give you the essence of what he, what it's what it's talking about. It, it's talking about. And let me see if I can just look and see if I've saved it somewhere in my notes. Uh, he 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 referenced the the uh, the tra the Passion translation, and you've really got to watch some translations about uh, what what they say and how they say it. But when we when we started uh, when it started talking about that scripture, it, it he said this is the way I see. 
uh, what this scripture is talking about. He he gave it to me in the tra- Passion Translation. He said the uh, the people before you have have set things in order. He said, and, and that 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 prescript particular translation said, and don't you dare try to change them to benefit yourself. And that is so true with a lot of of churches today. I'm not saying they're not born again, but I'm saying they're they have been led to do things that benefits them instead of benefiting the 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 the, the, the what it's all about, and that's God's kingdom. To benefit God's kingdom, look, the Bible says to seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Uh, that is my that is my go to scripture when it comes to talking about uh, giving. Now, I we went through a not here just a few weeks ago went through a few a few weeks of talking about giving, and I'm gonna tell you something if you can if you can uh, see through the the uh, the world and start sowing into this ministry. Because the world wants to wants to just I'm talking about beat the beat the the ministries and the churches down that that are accepting money. I mean I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, people. Some people just uh, they grow fangs and horns when it comes to to money. But the Bible talks about giving and 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 doing that. So if you if you're a partner of this ministry, thank God for you. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you that. But I want you to understand something. I, that's what not what this ministry is all about is 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 feathering our nest. It's not about uh, uh, getting gain out of it. This is this this ministry is about reaching the lost, reaching the 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 saved person that don't know where he stands with God and helping him. If you want to help us do that. You feel free to do it, but if you're one of those that turns their nose up at people that are that are depending on God to use people to further what they're doing, don't don't even bother, uh, because the Bible talks about it. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, and if you're not a cheerful giver, I'm not going to try to twist your arms to do it. So, listen to me today. This is something that is very important. Finding out who you are in Christ Jesus will completely change your life. Now, if you're not born again, finding out who you can be in Christ Jesus will point you to salvation, to being born again. So if you're not born again, that is my that is my, my principal uh, message for you, and that is to make Jesus Lord of your life. But if you are born again, Find out what his word says about you. Find out what God says about you. And leave all the rest of this religious junk where it lays. Just leave, leave it laying. Let God use you and, and strengthen you and edify you to the point that he can use you out here in this world. But if you've never made Jesus Lord, that is my principal purpose right now for you today, that you would come to know and realize the love, the mercy, the grace, and the goodness that God has for you today. Make Jesus Lord. Make him Lord. I'm not asking you if you believe in God. The devil believes in God and trembles. I'm not asking you if you beg God to forgive you over and over and over again throughout your lifetime. Because we all have done that. No, I'm asking you, have you ever invited Jesus Christ into your heart and life to be your Lord and Savior? Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and your life and save you? He wants to. And it's very easy. Confession is that. Just speaking it out of your mouth and saying, Lord 
Jesus Christ, Lord, today, make may be more me be my Lord. Let me back up and get this right. Jesus Christ, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior today. I confess you out loud before the world today that you are my Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead to justify me. Justify me. That is salvation. Do that today. Make Jesus Lord of your life. Confess him as Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. It says, for what the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. He wants to save you today. Make Jesus Lord of your life today, and watch him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, download this phone app. If you use a podcast provider, go back to June 21st, 2021, and get all these messages. But if, you, if you're if you just new to this channel, download this phone app. He, he can, we can get these, these, these podcasts directly to your phone six days a week. It'll come to your phone without fail. And, and you can go back to June 21st of 2021 and listen to every one of them. Listen to every one of them. God wants you to have them. And, and he's made a way for you to have them free of charge. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you. I thank God. I praise God for faithful partners that sow into this ministry so that we can do what we are doing. Help us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give his word away free of charge. Glory to God. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do so into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.